Hello my fellow YouTubians, this is Pool Shark Wizard, and today we got another uh, cool builds for you. So, um, as you guys can see, I've done a quick uh, track switcher here, and we are going to jump on over to the uh, creative world, and I will show you guys how this is done. But uh, first, um, I will show you guys uh, kind of the idea behind it, just so you guys have an idea. You can place down a cart right here, you can jump in the cart, and... Um, Right here I have a sign to the sandcastle. Over here we have a sign to the XP farm. So if you want to go to the XP farm, you just push this button. It uh, swings you on over and we head on down to the XP farm. And then we can just uh, swing back up. And without getting out of the cart or anything like that, we can then uh, move on to the sandcastle. So uh, the... Um, We'll click this button and we'll take a quick cruise over there. The track switches and it sends us off to this way. Uh, this one just goes to the, uh, um, I, the just the little hut that I have. I have another uh, break in there and it's a it's a very simple design. I was messing around, um, look, looking at some videos and I didn't see anything that was quite like this. So um, <clears throat> as you guys can see here. I have the same type of setup, but this time it's uh, straight across, and this is the uh, type of pattern that I'm going to uh, show you guys. So let's swing over to the creative world, and I will show you guys how to make this cool build. Hang tight, folks. Hey, folks, we are back, and I'm going to call this like a two-way track selector. If you guys can think of a better name, then uh, please let me know in the comments. So the first thing you want to do is you want to start out by a five by five uh, square. So one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five. So you start out with a five by five square. Um, these other bricks are not, um, you don't have to do it this way. It's just the way that I did it. But to start it out, um, we're gonna do a track selector. So this point right here is going to be our starting block right there. And then we're gonna lay down, um, I'm gonna lay down the track first, just to show you guys how this works. So you throw down two tracks that way, a track here and a track here. And then you can throw a track right in the center, like that. Now, uh, the simple way of doing it is by using a lever, right? So when you select a lever like this, if you watch this track right below us, I'm gonna back up a little bit, you'll see it that will switch over to the other side just like that and that's using a lever but the thing about that is if you're coming back from the different uh, destinations you're gonna wanna come back to where you started so um, the way that I do this is um, you leave it like that and you start out by taking I'm just gonna use uh, bricks here I'm gonna throw a brick there there's a starting point there's our starting point I'm gonna grab my uh, buttons to show you guys what I'm talking about here. Um, from the starting point here, you don't need a button on there. Normally, um, you, you know, normally you'd start it out, put a button here, and then it would shoot you off. But this one needs to be a powered rail. So that's gonna be our starting point. And then um, on these side blocks is where I'm gonna throw down a button, just like this. So what that button does is it now lights up that track so you then you can shoot off so uh, the next step that we're gonna do is we want to have um, when we select this button right here we want the track to go this way so to fix that it's a very very easy to do you just take out this block you throw down a redstone repeater right there take out this block and we can throw down another brick right there uh, what this will do is now when you hit the button this track will light up well we want the redstone to light up as well the the uh, repeater to light up as well well to remedy that you just knock out this block you throw it on a piece of redstone now when you click it both these blocks will uh, basically um, be activated so from this point you just carry the redstone right through this brick so the repeater goes into this brick redstone redstone and it goes right into this block right here so what that does is now when you push this button it's going to switch the track and go out that way see I'll see if I can I'm gonna get this out of the way for now um, so we have a nice little top view when you push this button the track switches for a split second 
it gives you enough time to take the cart out and ride out that way now where we have this redstone going in we want a detector rail now the reason that we want a detector rail, rail and I'm just gonna finish off this track so you guys uh, have an idea here and I'm gonna set up the regular starting button like we normally do on both sides here so there we go laying down the track and throw down a another uh, powered rail right there so you throw down the button that will activate that right so now if we are sitting in a minecart and we'll have to grab a minecart right here we don't we can get rid of the repeater for now don't need the repeater for now but you will throw down a minecart right there and then once you're in here if we want to go out to that destination right there you can just push the button and it sends you off in this direction now on the way back I will uh, show you that quick on the way back if we just had a regular rail right here instead of the detector switch we would just go straight through right so it just goes straight through like that and then but on the return trip it would have us go right up to our starting block right there and to uh, speed this up a little bit more I'm going to throw down some powered rails right here just so we have some nice power and we'll throw the lever right there and a powered rail here like so and a lever there and that does not affect the red the the uh, repeater right there at all so now we have two powered rails and I can show you guys uh, what I'm talking about from that point so it switches quick gives us enough power to get over here now when we're going back we're just gonna go straight across just like I showed before but it has a little bit more speed this time but then on the return trip we will actually go to the station just like this and if we want to go off in that direction we hit the button and it just shoots us off in this direction so we'll go back to the starting point right here and to remedy this part for it going straight across what you do is you throw down a detector rail now the reason you throw down a detector rail is because when the minecart actually goes over this brick the detector rail will do a quick switch on this track so we can go to this block so I can show you guys what I'm talking about there jump in the cart and now if you watch closely it switches real quick so it goes back to this point and then it can shoot us out that way and go back again but it just does a quick little uh, switch on there so the uh, that's pretty much how it works I mean to start out you hit this button and it shoots you off that way to go that way you hit this button and then you shoot off that way the detect detector rail switches the track back so you always come to this point right here now if you guys are building this let's say in the different direction because it's depending on how you face if I'm building it straight out this way right and then I throw it in then the curves gonna go this way right and to uh, change that I'll just do that quick so it's all set up and all you would do if that's the case you would have the powered side on the left side it's all dependent on which way this track naturally curves because it's naturally curving to the right hand side we would put the powered side on the left side so it's just uh, the opposite of whichever way the track um, curves like for our tutorial that we did we this naturally curves off to the left side so we just threw the powered side on the right hand side now to uh, finish this off if you'd like to you could take these uh, half slabs right here and you can actually throw the half slab over the repeater and you could act you could throw a half slab above the redstone here and it's not going to cut off the signal because it's a half slab so uh, it still works but I'm just gonna leave it uncovered for now I just wanted to show that you guys that you could do that um, you could also throw down blocks on top of here so you could place your sign saying where uh, each button goes but yeah that's about it guys um, I did a lot of work trying to figure this thing out um, did a lot of research on YouTube and I didn't see anything like this so uh, it's what I, I'm gonna say it's 
probably my my original design then unless somebody came up with it before but the things to remember is you just start out with a 5x5 five five block on the opposite side of the curve is where you throw down your powered side um, you have to uh, be sure to have a piece of redstone right next to the powered rail on the powered side you because otherwise this repeater would not work uh, make sure that you have a detector rail set up as well so it actually activates the track to go back but yeah that's about it uh, let me know if you guys enjoyed this uh, cool builds and if you guys would like to see some more of these I enjoy doing the cool builds and I you know they're usual just quick hits but guys this is pool shark wizard thank you guys so much for watching let me know in the comments if you have any questions and until next time guys thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys next time Take care. Bye-bye.